Hey, <clears throat> good morning or good afternoon to the Sadio graduates. How are you? <clears throat> uh, this is a very special uh, Johnny's video lesson. I really wanted to teach you about palm reading. So let's challenge palm reading. We are going to do the palm reading champion group activity yay okay so first of all uh if mei sensei hasn't already put you into groups of three or four uh please make groups of three or four sorry about my hair it's a, a little wild <clears throat> i need a haircut anyway if uh, mei sensei hasn't put you into groups she can pause the video while you make your groups <clears throat> Okay, so uh, this is what's going to happen uh, today in today's special lesson, uh, Johnny's lesson. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, I don't know how many of you believe in palm reading. Uh, by the way, palm reading is teso in Japanese. Uh, so, uh, or some people believe it, some people don't believe it. I believe it about 80 to 90 percent. So, uh, but before I uh, didn't believe at all, but now I, I do. Uh, all, all the information I got is from YouTube, a uh, YouTube, uh, person by the name of Kat Anders. And uh, many people think, which do you read your, your, this is my right hand and this is my left hand. So let's first talk about uh, which hand, which palm do you read? Uh, as you can see here, I've written here, the right hand uh, is in charge of telling us about your present to the future. The left hand is telling us about the past or your basic uh, characteristics, basic information. So that means your right hand lines change, your left hand lines don't change. So please keep that in mind uh, when you read your palms. You can choose which one for today's challenge, uh, championship, uh, you can choose which one do you want to use. It's, it's up to you. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, go to round one. Uh, first of all, I need to stop it. Come on, stop. It's not stopping. What's going on here? Okay, how about this? Okay, and now we're going to go to uh, round one. <laughs> round one, uh, before we talk about round one, I have to introduce the three lines on your hands. If you can see, uh, the top line is your heart line, the middle line is your head line, and the bottom line is your life line. So on the chalkboard, you can see uh, the head line is red or pink, the heart line is blue, and the life line is green. So. Uh, we're going to check the heart line and the heart line basically it uh it uh it's a it shows us it shows us about your emotions and how you feel uh <clears throat> and uh by the way some people might have a simian line a simian line in the right hand is where the heart line and the head line join it's just one line if one of the students, uh, one of the members uh, have a simian line, uh, that just means, uh, 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 number one, you're very intelligent, yay, but, but your heart, emotions, and your, your head, your thinking, uh, it's unbalanced, so you have a lot of tension, you have a lot of pressure, it's difficult to have ningen kamke, uh, it's difficult to relate to people if you have a simian line. But you can check your left hand, it should be okay. So, checking your heart line, if you can see my heart line, it has a very big bend. See, it starts here, goes up, that's a big bend. So some people have a straight line, some people have a 
bendy line. So I want to talk about uh, which line do you have. You can check in your groups if you don't understand, or Matthew Sensei or May Sensei can come and check to see uh, your heart line, <clears throat> uh, if it's bendy or if it's not bendy. What we want to do is check in your group who is the champion for the bendy line. So my, again, my line is, if you can see, it's very bendy. What does that mean? That means my heart is very open. Uh, I can talk about my feelings. I can share my information uh, easily. But if it's straight, if it's a straight line, then it, with your heart, you're very closed, you're very guarded. You don't really feel comfortable talking about your feelings. So you don't really want to talk about yourself to your family and to your friends. Maybe sometimes even your best friend, uh, you might be careful to keep some deep secrets even from your best friends because you have a straight line. So check it out. Is your heart line, uh, is your heart line bendy or is it straight? Check it out, check it out. I give you some time uh, to check it out. Okay, so uh, now, that, now that you've checked uh, all your lines and each group, you figured out who has the bendiest line and who has the straightest line. Let's have a show of uh, the champion. Uh, first, the round one champion. The round one champion for the most open, the most friendly, uh, the most uh, open-hearted uh, person. Please stand up and check around the room. Oh, wow. And so as you're looking at the people, the champions who are like me, me too, like me, very bendy. We are very open. Uh, we are. We like to communicate with people, and we're very friendly. And uh, yeah, we 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 uh, sometimes uh, we don't mind sharing secrets, uh, generally speaking. <clears throat> okay, thank you. Uh, good job. <clears throat> okay, now. I don't know about the timing. Maybe okay. I stop it. Yeah, so now uh, uh, we're going to continue with uh, who is the most guarded, the straight line people who don't really like to talk about themselves, you know, a little bit on the shy side. If you don't mind, if you don't mind standing up, please, nine, nine straight line heart people, stand up. Hey. And, you know, look around the room. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so... Sometimes there are surprises because again, this is your present and this is your basic, so it could be different. And uh, so, yeah, and uh, uh, yeah, so that's uh, the champions for the straight heart line people. Yay, okay, <laughs> thank you. Okay, so now we're gonna to go to round two. Uh, this time we're gonna check your headline, uh, your center line here. So you can see mine starts over here. And it goes down, goes down, and then it makes a big... It's dark here, it's light at the bottom, but it's very bendy. My headline is also bendy. And also my uh, my uh, left hand also is very bendy. It gets light around here, but it's going down, it's going down. So, uh, if your headline is bendy or straight, <clears throat> first of all, Let's talk about, uh, like me, like Joanne Sensei, say, uh, the bendy line students. Uh, if, your hand, if your head line is a very bendy line, uh, that means uh, you are very creative. Uh, maybe you're good with music. Maybe you're good with drawing. And maybe you're good with writing stories, using your imagination. Or basically, you are good at creating something. We are creators, so we can uh, have this. This is the line that shows us our power. So, uh, and uh, the other line, uh, the other, the opposite side, if it's not bendy, if it's straight, uh, that just means you, you like studying or you are smart. Maybe, maybe you always get high test scores because your headline is straight. So, and uh, yeah, I'll give you some time right now. Please check your headline 
and uh, we'll check it out. Ah, uh, you'll check it out. Okay, yeah, so <laughs> I hope you could check out your lines easily uh, with the help of uh, Mei Sensei and Matsu Sensei. Uh, so uh, let's, uh, let's see the champions, your headline, big bendy, creative people, champions, who has the most bendy line Please stand up. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, so uh, you are uh, similar to Johnny Sensei. Very, very bendy, uh, very curved line. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so we want to talk about the uh, people who like studying now. So who in your group who has the straightest headline? Who has? Or if you have a simian line, then you should stand up. Uh, so who in the in the groups who has the straightest line? Who are the uh, students who like to study? The students who have a straight uh, headline. Let's go. Please stand up. Ooh, wow, yeah, okay, yep, buddy, yeah, you always get high scores on your test. Good job. So that's uh, your uh, round two is finished. Let's go to round three. Okay, round three is a little different. Uh, round three, we're gonna talk about your characteristics. Uh, what kind of a person uh, is your personality, your character? In, in order to do this, you need to look at your fingertip shape, your fingertip shape. So you have 10 fingers, so you need to count which, uh, uh, which, ha which finger shape do you have the most of. So, uh, it's a, a bit difficult, but let me explain how it goes. When you look at this, uh, you can see it kind of looks like a shamoji or a rice spatula. If the tip of your finger looks like a spatula, oh, that means uh, you have high energy, you're high tension, high, uh, how are you? I'm great! Uh, means you are a good you're most likely you have very good characteristics to be an actor or an actress, you know, a gay no jin. That's what the spatula uh, finger ship, fingertip shape means. And then we have uh, a round shape. If your fingertip is round, I don't know if you can see that roundness, this round shape, uh, that just means you are compassionate. You care for other people and uh, you, you would be a good nurse uh, or, or a good teacher. Uh, you have compassion for people. That's the round shape. And then we have a square shape. <laughs> the square shape is a nuku shoku ke. So you are very masculine, very macho. Macho meaning not just, not just muscles, but your character is a macho. You kind of have like a man, a stoic, uh, way of dealing things. Uh, you're, you're very, um, we say masculine. I think in Japanese it's nikushoku ke. <laughs> That's a square shaped fingertip. And then the last one is a pointed finger ship shape tip. Uh, the pointed fingers, you are very interesting because even if one finger is pointed, if you can see my pinky, it's kind of pointed. Yeah, uh, pointed fingertip shaped people. We don't like to throw things away. We like to keep things. And sometimes we even like to collect something. Collect stamps, collect postcards, collect, uh, for me, I collect uh, teacher, shoku inshitsu, teacher's maps. I like to collect those for some reason. So that's a pointed finger sh shape. Tip, check it out. Which uh, so in this one, you, maybe you if you have a memo, you can write down uh, which uh, uh, which uh, which shape do I have more of? Check it out. Okay, so <laughs> I just uh, memoed my fingertip shapes. I got round, 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 spatula pointed, and then round, round, square, spatula pointed. So from all my fingers. One, one, two, three, four, five. I have five round fingers, fingertip shapes. So, uh, uh, how about in your group, who has the most round shaped fingertips? That means you are compassionate. You could be a good nurse. 
You could be a good teacher. Please stand up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, right on. So uh, uh, you have a good chance to be a very good nurse or to be a very good teacher or, or to work with people because you are compassionate. How do you say compassionate in Japanese, Matthew? <laughs> okay, let's uh, check out these spatula, spatula shaped fingertips. I only have two. Uh, well, this is a weak one, but this is a strong one. Uh, you can, uh, yeah, a strong, strong. Oh no, yeah, yeah. This. So if if you can check out this finger here, it 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 kind of it kind of goes out a little bit. It kind of goes out a little bit. You can see. It's a very mini spatula. Sometimes the spatula is even bigger, but uh, I have two spatulas, so I have a, a small chance to be an actor or to be a famous Gainojin. <laughs> so who in your group, who has the most number of spatula shaped fingertips? Gainojins, actors, actresses, please stand up. Woohoo! And how many, how many do you have? Uh, I, I have a strong one and a weak one. This is a weak one, but still it's a, it's a the small one. So good job. <laughs> okay, pointed, let's go to pointed. I only have one, two pointed finger shape tape, sh finger tip shapes. It's my, uh, it's my pinky, you can see. Yeah, very pointy, very, very pointy. Okay, so uh, I only have two, so, but I do, like I said, I do like to collect things and I don't like to throw things away. So, I, but I don't collect uh, like stamps or manga or DVDs, you know, I books, I don't, I don't collect those things. But who, who are the collectors? Who are the people who don't like to throw things away? We sometimes call us a pack rat. Who are the pack rats? Let's go, please stand up. Even if one finger, so these are the champions. These are the champions, yay. But even if you have one finger that's pointed, you must have something that you like to collect or not throw away. Okay, now we're gonna go to the final one, the square shape, square tip shaped fingers. I only have one, it's my middle finger. So I gotta be careful how I show this. So uh, it's on this one here. You can see, oh yeah, that, that, that looks uh, square. It's a flat top. So it's not super flat, but it's kind of flat. So I got one, one, one Nikushoku K finger. Yeah, so, you know, uh, I have a beard, I look rough. My hair is really, uh, not masculine, but uh, yeah. yeah I, I, Wild does it. Yeah, I look like a wild man. So, and I got one finger, one finger to show that I, I, I have a very strong, masculine, macho character. It's not your, uh, I said mitame, but uh, even girls can have square, uh, square shape, uh, square tip shaped fingers because it's our characters. It's not our mitame, but it could be mitame too. So square fingers, uh, let's go, please stand up. Oh, so these are the champions, right? So, you know, even if you have one, uh, even if you have one finger that's uh, shaped like a square, yeah, you still, you still have some uh, machoism. Uh, you have some masculinity. Woohoo! Okay, now we're at round four. Uh, round four, uh, we're going to talk about uh, your index finger and your thumb. If you look over here, yeah, if you look over here, uh, this is your index finger and this is your thumb. We want to talk about the bottom of your index finger and the bottom of your thumb area. These two areas. Please check your hand. Uh, you can check both uh, right and left. And uh, what you're checking for is to see how thick or how puffy or in Japanese <laughs> you say puni puni. How puni puni is this area? So, uh, to talk about your index finger, when you talk about your index finger, we're talking about this area here. It, 
first of all, when you look at it, you can see the mitame. Uh, yeah, it looks puni puni, uh, but sometimes you can't tell. You have to relax your hand, and uh, if you relax your hand and just poke it a little bit, oh uh, yeah, it's a little puni puni. Uh, my kihon, if you can see my kihon, uh, how do I share show this? My kihon, very puni puni right here. My basic. My left one, uh, my right hand is just a little bit puni puni. So uh, that's what we're looking for: is the puni puni uh, uh, classification. Are you? Are you? Is you? Is this area thick or not thick? So if your index finger is thick, if your index finger is thick, that means you you can sense ghosts. Maybe you have seen a ghost, maybe you can hear ghosts, and uh, uh, sometimes uh, uh, you, 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 must, you, you might have had some kanishibadi. I don't know how to say kanishibadi in English, but when you see a ghost or feel a ghost, you're frozen, you can't move. It's like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm frozen, I can't move. So that's the feeling you get because a ghost is nearby you. If it's puni puni, if it's thick, uh, you have the power. And in your thumb, if your thumb is uh, puni puni or thick or thin, uh, the opposite word of thick is thin. If your thumb area is puni puni, that means you like romantic things. It doesn't mean you are romantic. It just means you like romantic things. So, uh, check it out. Okay, so after checking, I'm sure you had a hard time checking, uh, but uh, make sure uh, you you, uh, you checked. Right now, we're going to uh, announce the winners, the, the champions of the sixth sense or the uh, psychic uh, ghost ability people. In your group, who has the most puni puni index finger area? Please stand up. Oh, yeah, so... Uh, I ask this question to many teachers and many teachers uh, at, uh, not many, one teacher here at uh, Tobu told me, uh, very thick, she has a very puni puni index finger. And I said, do you see ghosts? Do you sense ghosts? No, no. Uh, how about kanishibari? Oh, every day. She has kanishibari every day. And I said, yeah, your fingers tell me that. That's true. Okay, thank you. Have a seat. Okay, now it's time to check the thumb area. Uh, the people in your group who has the thickest thumb area, the most puni puni area. You uh, really like romantic things a lot. Uh, please stand up. Hey. So, uh, looking at my hand, also it's pretty puni puni. It's also here pretty puni puni. And uh, yeah, I think I think I like romantic things. Uh, also, I think I am romantic too. But <laughs> I don't. That doesn't matter. It's a uh, good job, everybody. Hey, have a seat. Okay, and we're down to our last round here, round five for the championship. Uh, the last round, we are going to talk about your marriage chances. How many chances do you have to get married? This doesn't mean you're going to get married. It just means it's a marriage chance. In order to check it, you have to check this guide here. Uh, this is the side of your hand. This is your pinky. This is your pinky finger right here. And then this red line at the bottom is your heart line. Yeah, yeah. So when you check your uh, heart line goes to the side and then your pinky bottom line is here. In this area, we're talking about the uh, horizontal lines. That's your... Uh, left to right lines, your sideways line. Sometimes it's a little bit angled like a naname, that's okay. You can count it too. And sometimes it's a little off to the side. It's, it's not right, it's not right in the center. It could be a little bit to the, to the back area. Please check carefully. We wanna check how many lines do you have? So if you can see my lines, I have a one, one line here and one line here. I got two. Over here, over here, looks like I just have one line. Okay, so uh, I would choose my right hand because I got two here. Here, I only got one. 
but I want to use the more lines, the better. So I choose the right side, which is two. Actually, there's, I think there's another one there, maybe three, about three. So please check how many lines do you have? Okay, I don't know how long that took, but uh, yeah, it's really hard. Sometimes it's really hard to check. Uh, so, uh, so I've seen as high as eight lines before, so maybe nine lines max. I haven't seen somebody with more than nine lines. Anyway, in your groups, who has the most number of marriage chances? Please stand up, please stand up. <laughs> so uh, again, one more time, these people standing up. It doesn't mean that's how many times you're going to get married. It just means that's how many chances you have. Hey, 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 good job. Okay, no. So now we're going to go to the next challenging part. Uh, I had to check my notes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So who, who has the best chance uh, to have, to talk about the best chance I didn't mention that till now. So uh, anyway, uh, the best chance people are long and thick. If you can see, if you can see, uh, this uh, this line is very long and very thick. Also over here, it's very long and very thick. I have so I have a very good chance to get married, and this is actually my wife's line. Uh, we've been married for twenty. 22 years, it'd be this year would be 22 years, uh, 21. Uh, we, we just had our 20th anniversary in August. So uh, check it, check it. Okay, so uh, now we're going to see who had, in your group, which student has the best means, the longest and the thickest line. Who has the best chance? Please stand up. Yay. <laughs> <clears throat> Good job, good luck. <clears throat> okay, when we talk about love, when we talk about love and marriage chances and, and you know, whatever, uh, there's a good chance and you want, you might want to call it a bad chance, but uh, I, I'd rather not call it a bad chance. I would like to call it just having fun or, uh, you know, uh, a light-hearted relationship. You just want to get to know people uh, but you're not serious about relationships uh, yet. So with this person, uh, with this person, uh, you are not serious. Uh, in, Jap <laughs> in Japanese, I often like to say, asobidake. <laughs> asobidake means, uh, I don't have any asobi lines, uh, but uh, asobidake means very short and very thin. Kind of like one of these... Uh, Chico Chico lines, man. This, this very short, very, very short and very thin line. That's a, 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 you're just playing around, just having fun. So please check who, who has the shortest and the thinnest line. Okay, so yeah, you've checked your lines. Now we want to see who, who, which, in your group, which person has the shortest and the thinnest the line, the most uh, ichiban usui, ichiban mijikai line, champions, uh, champions, uh, please stand up. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, so, you know, uh, uh, there's, a, there, there's a way to tell about these things. So, I hope you enjoy your, even your thin uh, usui line. I hope you enjoy the relationship with that person. Thank you. And that concludes our... Uh, Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, so thank you very much, uh, May Sensei. I hope you were able to figure out how to uh, get this to video, these video clips to the students. I don't know what the time frame is, but anyway, uh, that's, uh, that's my very special uh, palm reading championship lesson. <laughs> thank you. I will try to make it to your uh, graduation after lunch perhaps sometime. Uh, it was great teaching you again. I really miss teaching you guys and girls. And I, I miss working with you, uh, Mei Sensei, and, and the other teachers there too at uh, Seidyo. But uh, I'm also having a good time here at Tobu. <clears throat> and uh, 
yeah, the students here are great. The teachers here are great too. Uh, I, I like, I'm a very open person, so I can easily get to know people. I can easily make friends. And uh, yeah, I, I got the spatula line, a spatula, two spatula fingers. So I got some Gainojin power, uh, makes me a good teacher. I got lots of round shaped fingertips, makes me a compassionate teacher. I think I'm doing the right job I should be doing. But I just, I'm sorry, I couldn't continue teaching with you until the end of junior high school. It, it's been great uh, getting to know you when I was at Sadio. Some of you I taught even as a mother, but uh, you guys are awesome. You girls are awesome. Uh, I, I, I can't wait to see you in the springtime when, uh, when graduation comes. Thank you. Take it easy. Goodbye.